everybody, this is going to be me showing you guys how I'll mix up my protein treatment. And this is the protein treatment that I'm going to be using, which is Organic Root Stimulators um, Hair Mayonnaise. And this is a protein-based conditioner that I'll be using today. This is a great alternative to using maybe an egg, but you also can add an egg to this conditioner here, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to use the conditioner itself straight. So what I'm going to do is I have a applicator brush which I'm going to apply, I mean scoop out this product into my bowl which I got this bowl from Sally's Beauty Supply for about $2.59. So I'm going to use this to get it out because I have nails. So of course you would put out however much you think you'll need and I don't think I'm going to need that much so that's how much I put and for mine I'm going to add some oils and my first oil I'm going to put is castor oil there's no real measurement just in there Then I'm going to put some avocado oil. Now this is extra virgin olive oil. And lastly, we'll put rosemary oil. And this is an essential oil, that's why it's so small. So I'm going to put maybe about four drops in. So this is one, two, three, four. Well, that was actually six. So now I have my conditioner. Now I'm going to just use the end of mine. Some people like to use a fork, but I tend to like to use the end of my applicator uh, brush. And I'm just going to stir it in. Basically, you're just starting to blend in all your oils together. And you may ask, well, what does oils do to this? Why do you add oils to your conditioners? For me, I feel like adding oils is like an extra hair food. And it makes my hair soft. And the oils that I added within here um, aid growth and softness to my hair. I'm about eight weeks post, so adding these oils will definitely help out with my new growth. And since this is a protein-based conditioner for me, that's how it reacts on my hair. This will also help with my shedding that I'm experiencing because I'm stretched to eight weeks post right now. So all of these oils are just basically, you know, things that are good for your hair. So mix that up to your liking, and this is how it may look. The smell may change just a little bit due to the oils that you added in there, but um, this is how I will put in my uh, protein based conditioner so if you do not like using the egg like the one I showed you guys a few months back I did a protein treatment with the egg you may want to try maybe organic root stimulators hair mayonnaise which is a great protein based conditioner and you can also add an egg to this as well as I said before so now I have this I'll probably leave this on for about 15 minutes to 45 minutes then wash out my hair then proceed to co-wash in deep condition with a moisturizing conditioner So if you have any other questions, you can put that down in the bottom bar and I'll answer those for you Now for the best results in my opinion, it's best to apply I think any deep conditioner if you're on your hair journey, it's best this is just my opinion to apply your you know your conditioner in sections as if you would a relaxer so it's kind of like the relaxer method so you would section off your hair and apply the relax I me mean, apply the conditioner which is right there on to your hair in sections it's just easier to um, reach the new growth so you can really moisturize or um, Apply your conditioner, your protein, or your moisturizing conditioner to that new growth so it hits that new growth too. Um, now how I'm going to use it, I'm co-washing today. So I'm going to apply this on my hair to damp hair, which is why I have my little spray bottle right here. So that's filled with water and I sectioned off my hair and I'll 
spray my hair damp and then I'll apply this into sections and I have a video um, of how I do that that I will put in a little annotation and also as well in the bottom bar to see how I do it. My method hasn't changed as far as how I apply my deep conditioners onto my hair. So right after this I'll co-wash my hair. So I'm applying this protein conditioner on my hair first. Then my next step would be to co-wash and then after co-wash it would be to deep condition with a moisturizing conditioner to balance out the fact that I use this protein based conditioner on my hair. So I'm balancing out my protein and moisture with these acts. And this is just what works for my hair. And the point of this video is just to give you an idea as of what you could do and maybe you could try it to see if it reacts well to your hair as it does mine. Or, you know, just give you an idea as of how to do all of these things. But you just try out what works for you. So, I'm applying it as if I had a relaxer. And I'm using a little applicator brush just to put it on my roots. And I have a full length video on this too, you guys. So I got that there and then I take some of this. And I'm just going to put it on my hand. Rub it together and put it on my section all right here. And make sure work it in on the ends and really just get it in there. So I will do that for the rest of my hair. In the last clip, you couldn't really see what I was putting into my bottle, I me mean, into my mixing. Um, bowl because the camera kind of cut off what I was holding up. So this right here, which was in the purple bottle, is castor oil. So that's castor oil. This is avocado oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. And this right here is rosemary, and that's an essential oil. So in the previous clip, you saw how I applied that in there. So those are all the things that I added into my mixture up there. And of course, let me reach over here. And this is Organic Root Stimulator Hair Mayonnaise. right there. So, if you have any questions or comments, you can put that down in the bottom comment area below and I will answer that for you. Um, as far as my protein treatments, I'm trying to eliminate as many questions as possible. I'm trying to make this video as informative as I can. Um, I do a protein treatment on my hair once a month so what you're seeing or what you just seen me mix up is what I do to my hair once a month because it's protein and so I don't do protein every week or every other week I always do it once a month because I am a protein sensitive person so once a month for me is just enough and this is just one other way that I do my protein treatment so if you're asking what about do you still use the one egg for your protein treatments? Yes, I do. I just kind of switch back and forth. So this is just what I decided to use today, which is just as good as using one egg. And you can also add one egg to your protein mix, like right there too, into your conditioner. And that's just all a perf personal preference, you guys. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to put that in the bottom bar and I'll answer that. And thanks for watching.